What's up guys, welcome back to the shop. In today's video, I'm gonna be visiting an old project I tried to do before, but I couldn't. Well, not necessarily a project, but a build I tried to do that I couldn't. And that we're gonna be attempting a stainless steel sand mine. I made one not too long ago. Uh, most of it unstuck and I had a piece probably this big, just not a stick that actually stuck. These pieces are four inches by an inch and a half by this is an eighth this is a quarter that is an eighth i'm gonna forge weld it together and hopefully it sticks i can forge out a nice little kitchen knife let's get to it Alright guys, the billet is done. Whenever you do a billet like this, obviously you have to grind it and clean it with acetone and all that stuff. But you also have to weld all the way around it to make sure no oxygen gets in. Which knowing my weld, oxygen is going to get in. But you got to make sure you weld it as thoroughly as possible so no oxygen gets in because stainless does not like to weld too high carbon. And we got to work it hot. So let's turn on the forge and get to it. Alright guys, so this is where we're at. I had a D-Lamb right here, I'm pretty sure you can tell. The little crack. Well that little crack probably comes out probably where my thumb is, probably a third of the billet. But it only goes it doesn't it, it doesn't ruin the whole piece. So we're good there, no cracks on this side. It's not that big of a piece. I was hoping it was gonna be bigger, but Probably get a little knife out of here, maybe do a, a three finger knife. I don't know. I'll come up with something and we'll and you'll see it here in the next shot. Guys, so this is where we're at. We got a cute little knife. I don't even think I'm gonna do a handle for it. I still got it pretty thick. It got smaller here by probably an inch on the front of the knife because I had some D lambs I needed to get rid of. Now we're D lamb free all the way through the edge, but I do have D lambs in the handle. You see right there, I got a crack right there, a little bit of D lamb right there. But it doesn't go up to the blade, it got ground out in that area. The spine looks pretty good. It's mainly just in the handle. We're gonna finish it off anyways. And I think I'm just gonna keep it like that. It feels pretty comfortable as is. I'll just round off the sharp edges. And instead of putting any wood, I'll just keep it like that. It's pretty comfy. Alright guys, so here's the deal. I put this guy to a kneel and the crack got worse. Look at that thing. It's massive. So I decided I'm actually going to grind the layer off of each side of this. 
I'm going to roll with it because I want to finish this. I want to make this a knife somehow, some way. And while I do that, I'm going to set my oven to get it hot enough. All right, so I got this oven a little while ago. I really haven't even used it yet. So this is going to be the first time I use it to actual heat treat. But it's a pretty nice hot shot oven. Uh, I didn't check the specs right. I thought it was bigger. But it's a good enough size to do most of my uh, hunting knives and stuff. So smaller knives, knives smaller than, you know, 11 inches. This is really going to help, especially with the kumais, to get rid of the accidental overheating and ruining a perfectly good knife when I heat treat. Which only has happened to me once, but that one was enough to depress me. So while that guy he heats up, I'll start working on the knife. All right, guys, so we are out of the oven. The temper came out pretty good, nice and straw yellow. Time to hand sand. All right, guys, so that's it for this build of the handle done and ready. I just threw some wax on it. It's a bit of a quick build, but that's just because I didn't want to spend too much time on it, being that though it is very pretty, very pretty, it's still a bit of a dud where, you know, you can see the tang is not the best. And so because of that, I didn't want to put too much time in it, but I did want to have it finished as a little memory. So be keeping this little guy and it's pretty cute I'm not gonna lie it's cute chop my garlic or something with it i don't know maybe shave my beard now nah, i don't shave so guys if you like this little experiment and i definitely will get it down right eventually i believe it's because of my forge i didn't get it hot enough i didn't get the steel hot enough so it just didn't grab on right so once i build a new forge which i will be building one soon so expect that video I will be trying stainless sand my again and I will be getting it very, very hot. So hopefully it sticks and that's the problem and not something else. But eventually we're going to get it down right. So if you like this video, be sure to like the video. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Click that little button down below. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace.